causing a disturbance, but Davison allegedly refused. An off-duty police officer went to check out the problem, and that's when Davis reportedly struck him. A weekend accident has claimed the life of 24-year-old pedestrian in Mount Sterling. It occurred late Friday night when Juan Rodriguez hit Bo Wesley Beam while he was walking along Kentucky 460. The suspect admitted to police to drinking more than 100 ounces of alcohol in an 11-hour period. However, Rodriguez did not attempt to help the victim after the incident. The annual Christmas concert put on by Madison Southern's band will take place tomorrow, December 4th at 7 p.m. in the school's auditorium. The event is free as always and open to the public. Multiple groups will be performing at the early concert, including the concert and symphonic bands and the percussion ensemble. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel. And live at King Brothers Used Cars, Samantha, tomorrow a big high school basketball game here in Winchester. We're here to preview that game. Plus, we'll talk Kentucky basketball, Kentucky football, EKU sports, and all kinds more. Coming up right now in Winchester at King Brothers Used Cars, this is the Walling for Sports Show. This is a special sports presentation of the Wallingford Broadcasting Company. Sports fans, it's time for the Wallingford Sports Show. The Wallingford Sports Show is served up by Buffalo Wild Wings and also brought to you in part by Jack Burford Chevrolet, the law office of Patrick O'Neill, King Brothers Used Cars, and Honchels. Now let's go live inside the Jack Burford Chevrolet Studios discussing the hottest sports topics around. Here are your hosts, Michael Watkins and Samantha Burford. Live from King Brothers Used Cars in Winchester, we're normally inside the Jack Burford Chevrolet Studios, and we're served up by Buffalo Wild Wings. Samantha Burford, Michael Watkins here in Winchester. Samantha, tomorrow night, Madison Central, one of the teams that we cover, plays George Rogers Clark here in Winchester. We'll talk about that game, along with a couple of players uh, coming up to later on in the show. But first... Kentucky football. How big is that? They've got their bowl game. They're ready to go for it. And uh, pretty cool to, for Kentucky to be playing on a New Year's Day bowl. The Citrus Bowl versus Penn State, a pretty big game as well. And, and to me, when you look at this game, it's a good matchup for Kentucky. Two teams that can uh, kind of drag it out, play that hard-nosed football. Should be a good game for the Cats. It is the most prestigious game that the Wildcats have played in a football, I mean, the big, one of the biggest games yeah. in like 25 years. So that's pretty special. You know, uh, we'll talk about it, I'm sure, later in the show, but this coach is pretty incredible, oh, this yeah. Penn State coach. I mean, he's uh, beat us several times. When he's he had success the against Kentucky. Coach. Yeah. Yes. So it, when you look at this game, I, I think it's a good matchup. To me, Kentucky, and when you, when you look at the, the SEC as a whole – you got Alabama, you got Georgia, you got Texas A&M. These schools that can can play a different style of football, and in the SEC, it's always been the model speed kills. Right. It's hard to compete with the teams if you don't have speed. To me, Kentucky plays more of a Big Ten style uh, of, of football. Play. Yeah, right. the, the way they play, the way their game plan is, the way they like to run the football and play good defense. That's kind of how the Big Ten is. When you look at teams like Michigan and, and, and Northwestern and, and Penn State, Michigan right. State. Uh, you take out Ohio State out of the equation, the rest of those teams like to kind of play that that uh, hand the ball off and let your defense do the job, win the game for you kind of style of football. So I think that's why this game and this matchup is good for Kentucky because they can still play their game. They won't have to throw the football unless they get behind, which you know, Penn State's a pretty good football team. That could be the case. But, you know, the big question now is, will all these guys play? You know, Mark Stoops said today that, uh, he's not had any conversation with the guys that are NFL prospects yet, right. but he expects a full complement of players when they go on to play Penn State in the Citrus Bowl on January 1st. Well, we've talked about it before, uh, probably last weekend. Yeah. We we definitely think Benny Snell will play. He's oh, yeah. He, he bleeds record. blue. He wants to get the record. Yeah. Exactly. And I understand it. Do I like it? No. I want them to play. Yeah. Why wouldn't they play? It would be like a NBA or a college well, kid not pl wanting to play because he wants to play in the NBA. Here's the thing. I mean, you've got bigger names. I mean, Josh Allen, by the way, has now moved up. He's in the top five of Mel Kuyper's big board, which is huge yes. for a Kentucky player. And he's but, winning all kinds of – You know, he's prospected to win – Several other awards. Yeah. Now he won the award today. Exactly, he's the AP Coach of the Year. But when you look, we'll, we'll defensive get, player, of defensive the player of the year, yeah. and, and Coach Stoops won the AP Coach of the right. Year. But to me, I feel like let's say that that Josh Allen was to go play, 
and has a, a, a torn ACL injury, doesn't has to miss the entire year the, next year. Gets, it in the game. gets hurt during the game. He could miss. He could fall down draft boards. He could never really fully recover. And his NFL, his NFL career, his football career could be done. So you're saying if you were Josh Allen, you would not play? I, I'm not <laughs> saying that because we would like to see a Kentucky yeah, win. Yeah, of course we would. But and do you, the chances for, of us winning without Josh Allen? Yeah, they drop drastically. They drop. But I, I understand it if he says, hey, I'm not playing. But I, I, I hope he does. I hope that they realize what they're doing. And, you know, this could be a case, too. You see it sometimes where kids – their talent doesn't translate to the NFL. And I think Josh Allen is the kind of guy that, you know, he will he'll be a good NFL player, but will he be a top five player in the draft? That That's hard to live up to, those kind right. of standards. So it'll be interesting to see if no matter what happens, whether he plays or he doesn't play, if he lives up to the hype of him being a big NFL prospect. I, I think for Kentucky – to have a chance against a, a Penn State team who is at one time ranked in the top ten, maybe even in the top five, mm -hmm. you're going to need big games from your big horses. You need a big game from Benny Snell, maybe the record-breaking performance to give him and the all-time we'll, career rushing mark. Yeah. You need a big game from Josh Allen. You need Terry Wilson to play well. You need everybody, everybody. on board to win this game. Now, obviously, we're not going to have Hughes, the guy that got yeah. in trouble this past weekend. Still don't know what the outcome of all that has been. He's been arrested. Here's one thing I don't understand. He you won't know, be in the game. He scored a touchdown just a few weeks he ago. He did, and that's a player that we've kind of seen him bring along slowly. You can't hit a woman. I mean, you just no. can't do it. You, you, we've seen that's Kareem Hunt. That's pretty obvious with the, Kareem uh, Hunt in the, the NFL. The Chiefs, Exactly, right? yeah. yeah. I mean, Lied about it. Then tried the to video cover it came up. out. The video came out. And it, that was I back tell you in what, spring, credit right? to the Chiefs. We won't talk about that much right now, but credit to him or to the team and the organization who has a go. shot at winning a Super Bowl this year for letting one of their best players go and, and now not he's letting all that apologetic. affect. Exactly. Are you sorry because you got caught, or are you really sorry? Yeah, and we, you know, you we've been the there woman. before. You do something that you regret. But you're, you continue doing it yeah. until... I think he's sorry because he got caught. Exactly. Yeah, and that's one of those things that, again, because we'll talk about early on. on he said he didn't do it. Yeah, but then the video came then out. Then the video came yeah. out. And he's had, what, it happened in the summer? So yeah. he's had all this time to make good and has And the team even said that they, they talked to him about it. There was no, I guess... Nothing really came about it until the right, video came out. Right, because they were doing out. an investigation. Yeah. Well, it's a pretty long investigation if something <laughs> happened nine months ago. But anyways. Right. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I think Kentucky, for them to win this game, they have got to get a, a, a big game from their big Everybody's players. Everybody's going to have to play a perfect spot-on game. If you look at the wins they had this year, they were underdogs in a lot of big games. The Florida game, the Mississippi State game, the – I mean, a lot, a, the South Carolina <laughs> game. game. I mean, yeah, exactly. Almost every game but they were the underdogs. in those games that we were underdogs and we won – we had really big games from Josh Allen, really big yes. plays made by him, and we had big games from uh, Benny, Benny Snell. Snell. And to me, you know, you look at the Heisman race now, obviously the Benny Snell. That talk is over. The talk of him winning the Heisman yes. is definitely over. You know, you got Dwayne Heiskins, uh, the kid from Oklahoma, Kyler Murray, and uh, Tua from, from, Alabama. from Alabama. You have those three guys. To me, if I was a Heisman voter and I was voting for a Kentucky player, I would give more votes to Josh Allen than I would Benny Snell. Yeah, I agree. I, you know, I hadn't thought about that. Yeah, I mean, that's what, you're, to me, I mean, obviously, both of them were big parts of Kentucky's successful season. But to me, if I was voting and I had to pick a Kentucky player, that's the guy that I would give the vote to. Yeah, and, you know, the rankings came out today as far as the offensive player, the defensive player, and yeah. all the, the first team, All-Americans, and that type of thing in the SEC today. And it was pretty exciting that Josh Allen and – uh, Benny Snell got, I think, first team. Yeah, or, all yeah. ACC first team. All yeah. ACC first team. So that was pretty exciting because we're not used to that. No, we're not. And we've got a lot of really good players <laughs> playing for the Cats right now. Cool to see these guys getting the awards that they rightfully deserve. deserve. Yeah. And big kudos to Mark Stoops for getting the SEC. AP Coach of the Year. SEC. Coach That's a pretty year. big deal for yeah. him, too. Yeah. Guys, when we come back, we're going to talk about Alabama and Georgia and the college football landscape that we now we have, know who the four teams are that will be playing in the college football playoff. And I really want to talk about Jalen Hurts, the, the kid from Alabama yeah. that, that lost game. his starting job, hung in there, and ends up doing exactly what happened to him last year. The role reversal. We'll talk about that here in a few moments. We are live at King Brothers Used Cars in Winchester. Come out and join us. Cash in with the cats. The promotion that they are running this December. On Saturday, 
December 8th and December 15th and December 22nd. All three of those days, Kentucky basketball will be playing, and King Brothers Used Cars will give you a chance to win $50 Visa gift cards on each day, not just for all three, on each day. If you go over to the King Brothers Used Cars Facebook page, click that like button. They'll make a post for each game. Okay. You comment your score prediction, and you and I, I'm hoping, I'm going to talk to Doug after this. Hopefully we can, we can compete. It? All right. Yeah. Oh, you like to compete with me because you, you Well, I, I, I do like free lunch, and I think all three times <laughs> when we made a, a wager. Uh, remind the folks at home who won. You won. There you go. Mm, that was good in my belly, too. <laughs> Anyways, three $50 gift cards if you pre- correctly predict the score of the Kentucky games on those Saturdays, December 8th, 15th, and the 22nd. Cash in with the Cats this Christmas. Uh, that is the... Uh, the little promotion they're running here at King yeah, Brothers. That's this Saturday. Yeah, that's the first one, yep, December the 8th. The cats are playing. So you can head on over to the uh, the Facebook page, King Brothers Use Cards. Click that like button, and then whenever they uh, have the games and the post up, you can comment your and score, score and possibly win with the cats. So when we come back, we'll talk some Alabama and uh, some more college football. Later on in the show, we're going to be joined by, I think, Ben Jackson, who's a GRC basketball player, to kind of preview tomorrow's game. And then we'll talk uh, some more sports when we come back on the Walling for Sports show live at King Brothers Used Cars on the stations of Walling for Broadcasting and WBONTV.com. Make sure to visit JackBurford.com and be sure to like Jack Burford Chevrolet on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our Jack Burford Chevrolet YouTube channel. We load great, fresh, informational content daily about our great, new, and certified pre-owned vehicles. We also load great content about our great service specials to keep your vehicle running for many years to come. Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond. Escape to sports with Buffalo Wild Wings. New GM Tommy Barton welcomes you to the new atmosphere and new specials. Get the $5 game day menu all day every day, which includes burgers and fries, brats and fries, or order a game day pitcher of beer all for only $5. Don't forget about the buy one, get one boneless wings deal on Tuesday and 65 cent boneless wings on Thursday. And ask your server about the Blazing Rewards program and see how you can earn free food at Buffalo Wild Wings in Richmond. At King Brothers Used Cars in Winchester, you don't have to worry about the hassles of dealing with an aggressive salesman. They strive to make you feel comfortable and help you find the car you're looking for at the best price possible. Stop by today and get your key and drive off in a new-to-you vehicle from King Brothers Used Cars on West Lexington Avenue in Winchester. Or stop by their Facebook page for updates and their website, kingbrotherscars.com, to check out their inventory. King Brothers Used Cars, family-owned and time-tested since 1966. Hunchel's Men's Store is not just a men's clothing store. It's a first pair of boots store, an outfit to match dad's store, a place to cheer on your favorite team store, and now they're also a place to get a women's clothes store. Hunchel's has it all. When the weather starts to get cold, get to Hunchel's for the latest Carhartt brands to keep everyone in the family warm. Plus, Hunchel's has a huge selection of hunting and work boots from Wolverine, Justin, Rocky, and more. Family owned and trusted for over 50 years, where you'll always get free gift wrapping and personalized service. Hunchel's in the West Irvine Plaza. Hey everybody, meet my new intern, Alan Cutler. Oldest intern in America. 20 applied for the job and I got it. Look, I am so excited to be doing the Madison Central Games with you. They're special. The Feldhaus family is special. It's a ton of fun. Join us on WBONTV.com and Y92.5 W-E-K-Y. Alan, how about some coffee? Uh, Okay, I'm the intern. Don't forget the cream and sugar. Okay. Patrick O'Neill has been serving Central and Eastern Kentucky since 1995. When someone is accused of something they didn't do, or when a good person makes a mistake, they need the best representation they can find. And that's Patrick O'Neill. Whether it's criminal defense, social security, disability, personal injury, workers' compensation, or deeds and wills, when you need legal advice, trust the expertise of Patrick O'Neill. He will get you the money you deserve. His office is located in Jackson, but Patrick practices all over Central and Eastern Kentucky. For more information or for a free consultation, call 606 66 Back here on the Walling for Sports show, live at King Brothers Used Cars in Winchester. Later on in the show, we're going to be previewing a big game tomorrow here in Winchester as the Madison Central Indians, one of the teams that we cover, play GRC in a big matchup tomorrow night 
Uh, GRC 1-1 one one on the season, as is the Indians of Madison Central. So that game, be a good game. tomorrow night here in Winchester. And uh, we'll be previewing that game later on in the show. Samantha, you want to talk some more about the uh, Penn State? Of course I Not do. Penn not, Station. I, I get hungry, and I want to call it Penn Station. Well, we'll go to b -dubs if you're hungry, and I'll let well, you buy. Well, that is true. That is true. But uh, Penn State, Kentucky I'm football, you got some notes for us on the two games. Yeah, Kentucky is 0-3 every time they have gone to Florida for bowl games. 1950, they played Santa Clara in the Orange Bowl, Penn State, 1999 in the Outback Bowl, and Georgia Tech, 2016 in the Tax Slayer Bowl. So we're not doing too well when we go to Florida. Well, and, and the majority of those games, we were getting killed by Florida in Florida in the SEC game. So now that so that streak's really kind of broken, that is broken, hopefully we so can break through and, uh, and win this bowl game in Florida as well. But as you said, James Franklin's had a lot of success against the Cats as a head coach. And Vanderbilt. Like, I didn't – you know, I never put it together. And, and until today, I was studying up, and I was like, oh, that was him. Yeah. A lot of people may not recognize that, you know, that, oh, that's the same guy. I didn't even realize it until today. But pretty cool. I mean, they thumped us. And yeah. if you'll remember Mark Stoops' very first – First year, uh, they were way up, and uh, there was like 55 seconds left of the game, and it was at UK. They scored. Vanderbilt did run the Vanderbilt score up a little bit. Run the score. No, I'm fine with Vanderbilt. that. You know, if you can't stop them, you can't stop them. So this could be a nice revenge game. Yeah. For Mark Stoops. And it would be a big deal for for Kentucky football to get that. And now, do you think one of the reasons why we're going to one of the big bowl games is because the fans travel? They well, travel. we've had a good year too. I mean, nine and three we have, yes. is a pretty big deal for Kentucky football. The, I mean, the only losses are to Georgia, who we'll get on. We'll talk about them in a moment. Right. To Tennessee, who we can never beat in Tennessee, and then and also the Texas loss to Texas A&M, A &M, who an overtime loss on the road at A&M. I think that's should pretty good. That so one. yeah, should have won that one. But, yeah. You know what? The Big Four, or the Final Four, whatever you want to call it, the four Final Four that are in the, are the you college football. Georgia didn't get in that four. Not really. Because they lost to Alabama, but I'll tell you this: yeah. I'm not a huge college football fan. You know, no, I watch know the big you games. Like your I would watch Alabama and Georgia play every single day, all day long. Well, you know, that, they played that the game, rivalry, and then they replayed it. So yeah. you could have at least watched it twice. Exactly. I mean, that <laughs> game was so much fun to watch. It was. It was a good back and forth game. Exciting plays. You had. Uh, Alabama coming from behind. You had the injury to Tua, who has been amazing this year. And Jalen Hurts comes in, business as usual for him, and just makes plays. And you got to credit a kid like this who all the scrutiny in the world, you're not good enough to be Alabama starting quarterback. Yeah. Tua is the man. You're, you're second Tua gets right injured, now. and he comes in, and they don't flawless. win this football game without, without him. him. Yeah. yeah, it was flawless. He like was the he'd reason been they the won. Whole time. And it was opposite of exactly what had happened yeah. the year before. Exactly. So last year incredible. at halftime, they make yes. the switch to Tua. Obviously, Alabama, who was behind at the time of the national championship game, they come from behind to win that game. And just, just an amazing storyline here that the roles are reversed yes. for Jalen Hurts. He comes in and – the big thing with him was that he really couldn't throw the football. He was more of a running quarterback, could make a play for you occasionally, but could not consistently be a threat throwing the football. He was a threat on Saturday. There were several passes when they were making their comeback late in the game that he was just putting it on the money and, and putting it in places where only his guy could make the catch. Incredible job by Jalen Hurts to lead yeah. Alabama down the field for the game. Tying touchdown and then to run in – the game-winning touchdown win, win, for win the touchdown. Crimson Tide. Really big deal for him and an amazing story there that just goes to show you, you know, this is a good story. Kids today, they're all about themselves. They yes. want to be the man. You and know, they want to play. And I think if you look Put at it real quick, in. I think that's the reason Kentucky basketball is struggling right now because all these guys are used to being the man. They're not used to taking a back seat to some of these other guys, which and they're, they're not having used to do. To playing defense. Uh, exactly. At all. They're used yeah. to getting the ball throwing it in, and but, it goes in. But Alabama, this kid is a, is a story that if you're a parent and you have a young athlete, yeah, yeah and, and even Tua, Tua was Both so happy kids. for Jalen to come in and finish the job. So respectful. You, you want your kids to, to learn about this story, watch this kid, and, and develop and be the life lesson like of him. It. Yeah. It's such a life lesson. It, it's pretty cool because very good parents on it's, both of them. It, it was it would have been easy had he given up and transferred and said, I'm gonna go play somewhere else. But he hung in there, he worked hard. He said that uh, this is the place that I want to learn to play quarterback at. Look yes. at all the guys they put in the NFL and he was a big part and mainly and mainly the biggest go. part for they them will being both in. Go to the NFL. Uh 
Don't you think? I don't know if – a team ah. might have Hurts on the roster, but he won't be a starting quarterback you in the NFL. Think. No, he, he might be a good backup to do because of what he's done here. But, I mean, if Tim Tebow couldn't play in the NFL, that is true. Jalen Hurts can't play in the NFL. <laughs> so, you know, it is what Braum it is. Braum is better. But now you look at this, this these four teams that are in the F, the college football playoff, Alabama and Oklahoma, which the Crimson had like a two-touchdown favorite in that game, and Clemson and Notre Dame. It's not flashy. It's kind of boring to me. Now, I, I do think the Alabama-Oklahoma game could be very that high be scoring. But the Clemson-Notre Dame game, You're not again, watch I'm it. not a big college football fan. I'm not, <laughs> not really a big it. fan of that game. Uh, to me, the national championship game, if it's Alabama-Clemson once again, that might get some ratings. Uh, but, I mean, fans know that how good Alabama is. They should probably be a 10-point favorite if they're yeah. playing against Clemson. And people were either – Love Alabama or they hate Alabama. Yeah, there's I no in between. Any in between. And, and for the longest time, I know a lot of Kentucky fans would kind of hitch on to the Alabama uh, bandwagon because Kentucky was not as good. So they would hitch on to that bandwagon and be like, "Okay, we're going to cheer for the SEC school because we can't be there." Right. But now let's uh, talk a little bit about Damian. I mean, I yeah, not a big game for him. Wasn't a big game, and I was a little disappointed in that because I, I we, we kind of expected from him yeah. anymore. So hopefully well, in this final. Here's the thing about being... Because he is a senior. Yeah, he is. But here's the thing about normally being on. When, when you are on a team at Alabama like he is, and we said it when he chose to go there. When he chose to go there, there was guys like Derrick Henry, uh, Bo Scarborough, guys Bo Scarborough, that were in front yeah, of him. That's what I was trying to think of. When, when you look at, at the landscape of Alabama football, they always had the best running back. So there was going to be a, a five-star recruit ahead of him. There were going to be five-star recruits coming behind, behind him. him. And the Jacobs <laughs> kid came in and took some reps from him in the game against Georgia. So it's – and obviously he's had a tremendous career. He's going to be an NFL player, Damian Harris is, who played at Madison Southern. But it, it just would have been more special, I think, had he done it here with us in Kentucky or, or maybe even at Auburn or wherever the case may be because at Alabama oh. they have all the big-time running backs going true. to that one school. So he could have gotten more playing. Yeah, and, and, and he could have had a, a, a bigger chance to maybe win a Heisman Award or true. to have bigger numbers had he gone somewhere else, but whereas Alabama have. they kind of sprinkle guys in. They might play four running backs in one game. He wouldn't That's have true. That. He wouldn't have the rings. That's true. But, and with an S on it. Yeah. Rings. Yeah, exactly. So, but <laughs> but kind of kind of cool for him to be it on this big cool landscape, and kind of cool for Madison Southern, yeah. who was just in a national the uh, state championship game last year. Now you've got a kid playing in the biggest games in college football. That's every year, so it's kind of cool for that school to have him it. to have all this success. Yeah, yeah. and to me, Alabama, you know, it's was one. It's a reason for a lot of our local people to watch. Yeah. The game because they're like we know him. It makes exactly. it even more special. I, I know a lot of folks that are like that that aren't really big college football fans, but they want to see. Uh, I was actually watching Shannon Johnson, uh, you know, of, of the old superintendent of Madison yes. County Schools. I was actually watching the uh, Georgia Alabama game with him this past weekend, and you know, he was saying, "I just I don't really care who wins. I just want Damien to do good." So, see, and that's yeah. that's what it's all about. Now, let me ask you this: changing gears a little bit, Wondell Robinson. He has verbally committed. Yeah. Do you think he's going to stick it out and come to UK? I think he stays because we're getting some bigger names in there now, and he has a chance to make a big impact. Louisville, Jeff Brom turned him down. That was kind of the name that was creeping right. up. Uh, but I think he stays at Kentucky because he, he I'm knows. I'm glad. Aren't you glad? He's I'm a glad hero he's because coming. he chose at Kentucky. Did you see where they called off school at Trinity? Yeah, that was kind of a big, I texted you that. I was like, they're all mad. Yeah. They're mad. They had a yeah, bomb threat just, because the uh, – These are the days of social coming. media. You yeah. know, you, you get – you have a chance to put something out there. Yeah. And then people run away with it. So It's crazy. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. But I'm hoping. It showed um, during the high school championship games this past weekend, Stoops was there with Robinson yeah. as he got his – uh, uh, Mr. Big football award, award, Mr. Football yeah. Award. So, and that – he possibly could get two of them. He's a, he's a big deal. He's, a, he's the kind of that guy that Kentucky football award. can help build around. I so. think that was the coach's award, yeah. and then he could get the other award. Well, speaking of that real quick, some high school players, a lot of EKU – or a lot of uh, Madison Central players got some uh, scholarship offers from EKU. I saw Jackson Jewett, yes. Kenton Humphrey, some of these kids that uh, really – Exactly, right? preferred walk-on walk -on scholarship. 
Uh, I think even Ethan Hahn got one as well to EKU. So it would be nice to see some of these kids get the chance play to play at the next level. So that we could and, them exactly. So it would be kind of cool to see all that. Speaking of EKU, we got to throw in about the Nick Mayo's big shot. We will. We'll talk about over that. Point. And, and Kentucky foot basketball is supposed to waiting on the arrival of Ben Jackson from GRC. So we'll talk to him when he gets here about the big game tomorrow with Madison Central. Live here at King Brothers Used Cars. Guys, cash in with the cats this Christmas. Make sure to go over to the King Brothers Used Cars Facebook page like their Facebook page, and then if you can correctly predict the score of either one of Kentucky's games on the December 8th, December 15th, or December 22nd, you will win a chance, or you will get the chance to win a $50 Visa gift card courtesy of King Brothers Used Cars. All you have to do is like their Facebook page to be able to compete in that event or get that, the uh, that uh, post they'll have up on Facebook page. You correctly predict the score, and you could win a $50 yeah. Visa gift card courtesy of King Brothers page. Used Cars. Yeah. If you want to see all the local, all the cars they yeah. have here on the lot, they've got a lot. Go to yeah. their website. KingBrothersCars.com. they got a lot of really good high-end used cars yeah. here on the lot. And uh, Doug and, and Dina and the staff here will do a good job of taking care of you. And I'll take, I'll take that back. Dean and my Doug are double taking care of you. <laughs> Doug, sometimes, I tell you what, I've been trying to get over here for six months, it seems like. I know. It, last time we were here was summertime. Yeah, I well, believe, so. I think the issue was his desk and his office were dirty. So, he was, so he's he been taking six months up. to clean his office up. I think we that was the issue. Over. We, we do take over. We do. We do take over. Randy's trying to get me in trouble. But when we come back, we'll talk some he's high listening. school basketball. We'll talk some, some Kentucky basketball and EKU as well. Live at King Brothers Used Cars in Winchester, this is the Walling for Sports Show. Make sure to visit jackburford.com and be sure to like Jack Burford Chevrolet on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our Jack Burford Chevrolet YouTube channel. We load great, fresh, informational content daily about our great, new, and certified pre-owned vehicles. We also load great content about our great service specials to keep your vehicle running for many years to come. Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond. Escape to sports with Buffalo Wild Wings. New GM Tommy Barton welcomes you to the new atmosphere and new specials. Get the $5 game day menu all day every day, which includes burgers and fries, brats and fries, or order a game day pitcher of beer all for only $5. Don't forget about the buy one, get one boneless wings deal on Tuesday and 65 cent boneless wings on Thursday. And ask your server about the Blazing Rewards program and see how you can earn free food at Buffalo Wild Wings in Richmond. At King Brothers Used Cars in Winchester, you don't have to worry about the hassles of dealing with an aggressive salesman. They strive to make you feel comfortable and help you find the car you're looking for at the best price possible. Stop by today and get your key and drive off in a new-to-you vehicle from King Brothers Used Cars on West Lexington Avenue in Winchester. Or stop by their Facebook page for updates and their website, kingbrotherscars.com, to check out their inventory. King Brothers Used Cars, family-owned and time-tested since 1966. Honchel's Men's Store is not just a men's clothing store. It's a first pair of boots store, an outfit to match dad's store, a place to cheer on your favorite team store, and now they're also a place to get a women's clothes store. Honchel's has it all. When the weather starts to get cold, get to Honchel's for the latest Carhartt brands to keep everyone in the family warm. Plus, Honchel's has a huge selection of hunting and work boots from Wolverine, Justin, Rocky, and more. Family owned and trusted for over 50 years, where you'll always get free gift wrapping and personalized service. Honchel's in the West Irvine Plaza. Hey everybody, meet my new intern, Alan Cutler. Oldest intern in America. 20 applied for the job and I got it. Look, I am so excited to be doing the Madison Central Games with oh, you. Yeah. They're special. The Feldhaus family is special. It's a ton of fun. Join us on WBONTV.com and Y92.5 W-E-K-Y. Alan, how about some coffee? Uh, okay, I'm the intern. Don't forget the cream and sugar. Okay. Patrick O'Neill has been serving Central and Eastern Kentucky since 1995. When someone is accused of something they didn't do, or when a good person makes a mistake, they need the best representation they can find. And that's Patrick O'Neill. Whether it's criminal defense, social security, disability, personal injury, workers' compensation, or deeds and wills, when you need legal advice, trust the expertise of Patrick O'Neill. He will get you the money you deserve. His office is located in Jackson, but Patrick practices all over Central and Eastern Kentucky. For more information or for a free consultation, call 606-66. Back on the Walling for Sports Show, Samantha Burford, Michael Watkins here at King Brothers Used Cars in Winchester. We are served up 
by Buffalo Wild Wings. And normally we come at you live inside of the, the uh, Jack Burford Chevrolet Studios. But Samantha, today in Winchester, to kind of help preview the big game tomorrow between Madison Central and GRC. Samantha, my, my question to you first is, have you picked out my Christmas present yet? I have not. But I know you're thinking hard about it. I, ha I am not. Okay, well, here's an idea. I was in Irvine last week, and I stopped by Honchels and talked to Larry and Barsha. I did not, but they actually have some cool UK women stuff over there now. No, that would be good. So if you if you need some cool UK women stuff, UK they've stuff. got some some cool like Sherpas and stuff over there that they've got for sale. Oh, and, soft. Those are soft. Oh Those yeah, good. and good and warm good. too. Get Morgan it's, one too. She's not a big UK fan. I know. How I, can that be? Listen, I, we've argued about it. And she, you know, you've lost. Yeah, yeah. So I won't, I won't get into it to that. But yeah, Honshaw's over in Irvin, guys. If you're looking for, or ladies, if you're looking for a good gift for your man yeah. for for Christmas or for your dad or your grandpa, they've got boots, they got Carhartt gear, everything you would need over at Honshaw's in the West Irvin Plaza. Stop by and say hello to Barsha and Larry. They've been uh, in Estill County for fifty. I think 58 years now. They've been there for a long time a serving long the folks time. of Estill County. They know what they're and doing. And they do a really good job. A free gift wrapping, personalized service. That's Honchels in the West Irvine Plaza. Every Monday we do a Facebook poll courtesy yes. of the law office of Patrick O'Neill. And Patrick O'Neill, good, good friend of mine, he's a big New Orleans Saints fan. They're killing it right now. Uh, doing a good job. with uh, and, and he he actually lives here in Winchester. His office is in Breathitt County. Well, but we he serves. come over. Well, he, if he's in, if you're listening, Patrick, and you want to come out and buy us you dinner got tonight, minutes. you got 20 minutes to meet us over here at King Brothers <laughs> and, and take us out to eat. Uh, but the law office of Patrick O'Neill uh, serves all over Central and Eastern Kentucky uh, for a free consultation. Call 606-666-2990. And our Facebook poll question today, we'll go back to the bowl game for Kentucky football. Uh, as a Kentucky fan, this is a big deal. We're playing on New Year's Day Bowl. One o'clock. The question today was, as a Kentucky fan, are you excited about the bowl game the Cats will play in, or should it have been, and could it have been, which it could have been, a, a, a bigger and better bowl game? And 89% uh, of the voters say, yes, go Cats. 11% say, no, it could have been better, which it could have been. But as a Kentucky fan, for us to be playing in this big of a bowl game, you can't really pass that up, and a big deal for us to be where we are right now. Yeah, absolutely. I, I'm praying that we win the game. I'm hoping that a yeah. lot of Cats fans show up to Orlando and that we win the game. This is an opportunity, and possibly next year we get a better bowl game. Yeah. But now, to me, I think it's a great bowl game. I think it's a great matchup. It is. What is it, 14, 12, and yeah, yeah, it's Penn two State teams pretty 12, close to one another, and, and the styles are pretty similar yeah, as well. So I so. think it's going to be a great game. Now, we are seven-point underdogs. Yeah, which, I mean, we've, we we've been underdogs all game long. We do so, better. Yeah. So I'm, I'm excited about that. Kentucky basketball, kind of a tough game over the weekend versus UNC Greensboro. Yes. But when you look at this team, Samantha, I just can't get excited about I'm this team. I'm not excited about it either. Now, early on preseason when they were predicting this, like, number two, yeah. I was way excited. I was like, oh, and then we played Duke. Yeah, that, and, and it just and, went fuzzy. And I don't know if it's that loss that's kind of gotten me down yeah. or what the case may be. but could be that we've got not a lot of good games right now at home. Yeah, but, 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 I mean, the UNC Greensboro team, that is a, that's, a, that's a team that, a that should game. win their conference. I mean, that's a, that's a decent ball game to have, right. uh, to, to have against. But I, I think for, for this Kentucky team, what we need is a guy like Kid Gilchrist, a guy to get excited about, to be in your face, and I know Hagen's is supposed to be kind of that, that, that tenacious defender, but I don't really see that from him just yet. Mm -hmm. We need somebody to get excited about. I'm not excited about this Kentucky team. I, I wasn't a huge fan of last year's team either, but no. we made the, 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 <laughs> the, the big run, you know, to, to get us to the, I think, the Sweet 16 or whatever we lost to Kansas State. But I'm just, I can't get behind this team right now, and I don't know why, why that is. I but, think a lot of people are feeling that. Yeah, I, I think so, too. I, a little part of that is that we don't have any Kentucky players. That could be it. And that we're not rooting for. We're not getting behind. Honestly, if as far as brands of basketball go, I think I would rather go watch an EKU game right now you than would. watch a Kentucky game. Mainly because if you have not watched this EKU team, yeah, they are exciting to watch. And A.W. Hamilton is exciting to watch coach. This he's, guy he's wants to win. He's back and forth pacing. A, a few weeks ago when he got his first win, yeah. he was in the, the locker room celebrating. He was. And then this Saturday on a last-second three-pointer by, by Nick, Nick Mayo, Mayo to beat Tubby Smith right. and his alma mater high point, high point, a big deal for the Colonels to go so on the road. Dancing. 
Who was Vlad dancing? Mueller was the oh, yeah. director. He Steve was down Vlad there. Um, EKU was posting all types of yeah. videos of him dancing. He, and in the locker room, he had the championship belt that he gave to Nick Mayo for the game-winning shot. I mean, just a, a really cool scene. And that was Go, not an easy shot. No. He was a step back face. three for a 6'11 yes. guy. He was over here, went over here, stepped yeah. back, and threw it up. Crazy. Look like Dirk Nowitzki, honestly, the big <laughs> NBA player. So, uh, big deal for them. If you've not watched this EKU team it's play, fun. First of all, you're missing out. And that game Second of all, they are forth. exciting to watch. They I mean, they like to shoot threes. They play tenacious defense. They remind me of a, 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 what Madison Central does, really, except better athletes, obviously, on the floor. Yeah. And like I said, A.W. Hamilton, he wants to win. He will do whatever it takes to win. This yeah. guy wants the EKU basketball to be on top of the OVC. And I think give this guy some time to get his players in, they will be there. And when OVC play rolls around – don't be surprised if the Colonels are making some noise in March because of Fingers what Coach crossed. Hamilton is doing because Fingers they are, crossed. like I said, very exciting and a lot of fun to kind of be around because they really, really, really want to be good in basketball. How crazy is it that you actually said you'd rather watch EKU than a UK, which is unusual because that's not typically – No. Know, there's usually a bigger audience, bigger presence with um, UK basketball. This, this, this Kentucky team, they – I don't know. They just don't give it to me right now. I, yeah. I just can't get behind them. Because there's you know. no defense. They don't feel – watching, I'm kind of like you. I don't feel like they have any passion to them. Yeah. Any. The one player that could turn it around for me as a Kentucky fan right now, I think, is Hero. If he could start knocking down yes. more threes and be a, a more consistent shooter yes. and you know have one of those games where he just hits seven or eight threes in yes. one game, that could make me more excited about this team and uh, maybe kind of turn around my thoughts Listen, about I Kentucky love basketball. Tyler Hero. From day one, yeah. I said it. None of the press was giving him any love. They were like, he's going to sit on the oh, He bench. struggled he's early. Gonna, yes, they never. And now I'll look at him. Yeah. I, I love Finally him. getting it going. He did great, the um, the big blue madness. Yeah. He came in runner-up of the three-point shots. He got all kinds of stuff. He was runner-up in both the contests they had. So We are live at King Brothers oh, Used Cars in Winchester, Samantha. Uh, Tom Gross is watching us. Uh, Kristen Roberts King, which is Doug's wife, tuning in with us as well. Uh, my grandparents are watching. Uh, uh, <laughs> Awanda S. Roberts is watching as well. And Mary King says she's watching from warm Florida. Well, Mary, I tell you what, it is not warm here no. in Winchester We're and in Kentucky jealous. right now. So hope you're uh, staying warm for us and, and having dark. some fun in when Florida. When we left Richmond, yeah. it was daylight. When we got yeah. to Winchester. 20 minutes later, it's dark. It's dark outside. As you so. said, we are live here at King Brothers Used Cars in Winchester. Cash in with the cats this Christmas over Next here at King Brothers Saturdays, Used Cars. Right? Next three. The, the, the 8th, the 15th, okay. and the 22nd. The King Brothers Used Cars, go over to their Facebook page, click that like button, and if you correctly predict the the correct score from those UK basketball games, you're going to do $50 gift cards for each game. If you correctly predict the score, they will give you a $50 Visa gift card for each game. So all you have to do, go over there, like the page. Like the page. When you see the post come up on Saturday for Comment. each game, Comment your final score, whether it's Kentucky winning uh, 71-72, whatever the score is. Correctly predict that, and you could win a $50 gift card courtesy of King Brothers Used Car. Samantha, when we come back, Ben Jackson of GRC will come on and talk high school basketball with us. A big game for the Cardinals tomorrow as they take hey, on Madison, Madison Central. Central. We'll talk to him when we come back live at King Brothers Used Cars in Winchester. This is the Walling for Sports Show. Patrick O'Neill has been serving Central and Eastern Kentucky since 1995. When someone is accused of something they didn't do, or when a good person makes a mistake, they need the best representation they can find. And that's Patrick O'Neill. Whether it's criminal defense, social security, disability, personal injury, workers' compensation, or deeds and wills, when you need legal advice, trust the expertise of Patrick O'Neill. He will get you the money you deserve. His office is located in Jackson, but Patrick practices all over Central and Eastern Kentucky. For more information or for a free consultation, call 606-66. Ponchel's Men's Store is not just a men's clothing store. It's a first pair of boots store, an outfit to match dad's store, a place to cheer on your favorite team store, and now they're also a place to get a women's clothes store. Honchels has it all. When the weather starts to get cold, get to Honchels for the latest Carhartt brands to keep everyone in the family warm. Plus, Honchels has a huge selection of hunting and work boots from Wolverine, Justin, Rocky, and more. Family owned and trusted for over 50 years, where you'll always get free gift wrapping and personalized service. Honchels in the West Urban Plaza. 
at King Brothers Used Cars in Winchester, you don't have to worry about the hassles of dealing with an aggressive salesman. They strive to make you feel comfortable and help you find the car you're looking for at the best price possible. Stop by today and get your key and drive off in a new-to-you vehicle from King Brothers Used Cars on West Lexington Avenue in Winchester. Or stop by their Facebook page for updates and their website, kingbrotherscars.com, to check out their inventory. King Brothers Used Cars, family-owned and time-tested since 1966. Escape to sports with Buffalo Wild Wings. New GM Tommy Barton welcomes you to the new atmosphere and new specials. Get the $5 game day menu all day every day, which includes burgers and fries, brats and fries, or order a game day pitcher of beer all for only $5. Don't forget about the buy one, get one boneless wings deal on Tuesday and 65 cent boneless wings on Thursday. And ask your server about the Blazing Rewards program and see how you can earn free food at Buffalo Wild Wings in Richmond. Everybody meet my new intern, Alan Cutler. Oldest intern in America. 20 applied for the job and I got it. Look, I am so excited to be doing the Madison Central Games with oh, you. Yeah. They're special. The Feldhaus family is special. It's a ton of fun. Join us on WBONTV.com and Y92.5 W-E-K-Y. Alan, how about some coffee? Uh, okay, I'm the intern. Don't forget the cream and sugar. Okay. Make sure to visit jackburford.com and be sure to like Jack Burford Chevrolet on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our Jack Burford Chevrolet YouTube channel. We load great, fresh, informational content daily about our great, new, and certified pre-owned vehicles. We also load great content about our great service specials to keep your vehicle running for many years to come. Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond. Live at King Brothers Used Cars in Winchester, Samantha Burford, Michael Watkins. We welcome in Ben Jackson of GRC, the Cardinals. Ben, welcome in, my man. Thank you. Thank you all for having me. So let's talk to you real quick first about uh, the basketball team. Big game tomorrow versus Madison Central. We were talking to you, uh, big Isaiah Cozart, just set the blocks record all time in the history of Kentucky basketball. Big deal for him. Big matchup for you tomorrow versus him. Talk about that matchup. Uh, he's a great player, and uh, I think Coach Cook's got in a great great game plan to try and shut him down and so i think if we uh, execute the game plan we'll be in good shape i want to know how tall you are six seven how tall is Cozart? he's six that's good size so matchup nice there matchup. yeah yeah because mm -hmm. when you came in a few minutes ago we were like looking <laughs> up, so yeah well you don't have some good size on your roster i think you have another couple of guys that are yes, six sir. seven as well yes, right yeah we, uh, we got brennan canada who's six six and then lincoln bush who's also six wow. seven so you guys go at it and practice quite a bit oh yeah yes sir you guys got a lot of seniors on your team this year. Yes, sir. Or yes, ma'am. Sorry. <laughs> She's all right. all right. She'll answer to whatever you call her. Yeah, I think we, I think we have double-digit seniors. So it's, wow. Yeah. That's yeah, lots of experience. Yeah, big so difference in last year having four seniors. So. Yeah. So do you have everybody coming back? I mean, everybody's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're a very veteran. On varsity team, so. last year. Mm-hmm. Yep. We uh, we lost three starters and then one other senior that played significant minutes, but. Other than that, we got it. well. It's ought to be a nice matchup for tomorrow yep. night. Exactly. So when you when you look at this matchup tomorrow, what are you most looking forward to to this game, home game for you all versus Madison Central? You know, the the a top five team in the state preseason. What are you most looking forward to about tomorrow's game? Uh, the student atmosphere. You know, this game's been hyped up for a while. Yeah. People realize that it's going to be a big deal, and um, I think all our all our guys are pumped up, ready to go. So just coming out and getting to play in front of the home crowd for the first time this year in a matchup like this is going to be fun. For, for some Central fans that are watching us or listening to us, uh, what are some names on your all's team that they should know about for tomorrow's game? Uh, Jordan Graham, he's a starting point guard. You know, he's one of the best players in the tenth. He, uh, he's got a few offers. He's he's legit. And then you got Brennan Canada, who's another top player in the tenth. He plays a, plays three or the four, just anywhere you need him really. And then Jadon Jenkins, he's our four. He's a big dude, likes to bang inside. And then you got Jared Woman out on the perimeter who can knock it down. That's so a good far, team, you guys are one and one this season. Yes, so what games coming up my, other than Central? What do you, what are you expecting this season? Uh, Friday we have big Pendleton County and we got Dante Allen, the signee with Kentucky. Yeah. It will so, be big. Yep. So we, uh, the f three of our first no four No pressure games on you this week. No. No pressure. <laughs> Easy week for yep. you. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> well, that's a pretty big deal for you all to welcome in a guy that's going to be playing at Kentucky next year into uh, GRC on Friday night, right? Yes, sir. So when you got a big game tomorrow night, a big game on Friday, how do you sleep at night? 
Um, you know, <laughs> coach thankfully gets us out of practice early, so yeah. we get some time to rest in between. But yeah, we're all pretty anxious to go at it. Well, I'd say he sleeps pretty good. I think they work hard enough. Oh yeah, that they oh, yeah. That's, crash that's true. They I'm too to lazy. Bed. I think that's why I don't sleep good at night because I'm so lazy during the day. <laughs> I don't really get a lot of energy built out of me. Any other games for the regular season that you're excited about? You know, any of the district games are always big, and then same thing with the region, you know. So everybody's focused in more during those types yeah. of games. So Now, are you guys building a new gymnasium? Mm-hmm, and football field. And football field. Lots happening yeah. over here mm-hmm. in yes, Clark County, GRC. Pretty exciting. Yeah, unfortunately for me, I won't get the plans. Oh, you won't I've seen get the plans, to see but I won't get to ever play in them. So. That's exactly right. He won't. Well, that's kind of cool, though. You get, I think, is it next year that will open up, or will it be I a little bit so. longer? I think so. You're kind of sending year. them out on, uh, yeah. in a good note, right? Yes, because GRC football, for the last couple of years, had Struggled quite a bit at picking up wins. This year, y'all turned it around. Uh, that game versus Central on Friday night, it was the district championship game, basically. Winner won the district. Mm-hmm. Uh, y'all did a really good job of turning that program around this year. And you yourself going to Miami of Ohio now, uh, a yeah. pretty big deal for you. Congratulations exactly. on that exactly. offer and, and signing with them. You. Yeah, so uh, w- which That's one do you football, like better, basketball or football? Know. Football. Yeah, I like. Yeah. I love getting physical, and I can't do that without getting penalized for it in basketball. Same. So. <laughs> I mean, I, I did the same thing when I played. So, mm-hmm. and, uh, although I, I liked getting physical, but when somebody did it to me, I didn't like it as much. But that means I get you to push back even. That's harder, true. So, that's I mean, true. I, <laughs> I didn't have. I, I couldn't. I wasn't strong enough to push him around though. Like that was my <laughs> biggest is, issue. Is. Yeah. So you obviously, I'm um, not obviously. You fell out. Obviously, I'm um, as well. I'm Every getting. now and then. <laughs> last year I did. I didn't get a lot of minutes. So. If you're used I to was, being physical. I yeah. Mean, yeah. Last year I was. I'm not going to get a lot of minutes. I'm going to use all my fouls. But this go. year it's a lot different role, so i got to – so I'm starting getting a lot more minutes. i got to yeah. be smarter about that stuff. So, so football, you, when you start this summer, I think you who, you know who you play in your first game? Iowa. Iowa, and then – I don't remember who's second game, and then third game we've got at Ohio State. Yeah. yeah. So that's a pretty tough schedule for them, about. right? Just throw you right into the fire. <laughs> yeah. Like, welcome to college yeah, football. That's right. What, what position do you play in football? Uh, left tackle. So, okay, that's how you're going to be playing down there, I'm guessing? Uh, either tackle. I don't know if it will be right or left, but okay. I know it will be at the tackle position. Well, good deal, man. Well, good luck tomorrow night. Big game for you guys. And uh, and a big crowd over here for both teams. I mean, Madison Central, those fans travel pretty well. So, if you were talking to GRC fans, trying to get them out for tomorrow night's game, what yeah. would you say to them? I'd say just look at what we've done in the past and look at what Central's done in the past and just expect that again this year. Yeah. And then Pendleton County on Friday night, what would you say to get them into that game? Uh, Dante say, Allen, Dante right? Allen, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, should be all you have to say. Yeah. Exactly. Have to say a lot to get people to yeah. come to that one. So that ought to be a good crowd. Yeah, yeah. yeah you guys got to come out and support these exactly. players. Exactly. They work really hard. I mean, you've just come off the field, so I mean, obviously, you've gone from one sport to the next. You don't stop. So no, ma'am. you've put in your time, put in the effort, and these uh, the fans need to come out and support. Yes, ma'am. Well, man, uh, good luck this week. Two Thank big you. games for GRC basketball. I talked to Coach Cook the other day. And uh, we are going to be over here tomorrow night. You can listen to the game live on 92.5 WEKY. Alan Cutler and myself will have the call for you as GRC host Madison Central tomorrow night. Again, that game can be heard live on 92.5 WEKY. We'll let Ben get out of here and uh, and celebrate uh, or get ready for tomorrow night's big game. Thank you for coming on with us, man. And congratulations. Yeah. Good luck tomorrow. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. So we'll let him get here. Samantha, we'll we'll talk some more about uh, high school basketball. Obviously, Madison Southern. Uh, a big deal uh, for Austin Newton getting his first couple of wins as a head coach, as a Madison Southern Eagle head now, coach. I don't think G- uh, GRC and Southern play, right? Uh, uh, I, don't, I, don't I don't think, think so. I saw that on the schedule. Yeah, but it's a big deal for yeah. him. I mean, Newton, I thought he did a really good job yeah. in the game versus Lost Madison his first Central. first game, won his last yeah. two games, and, right? And if you look at that game versus Central, they were only down seven at the half. Obviously, yeah. Central is a, a really different. good team. For them to only be down seven at the half and really had a pretty big first half for Isaiah yeah. Cozart, for him to to kind of battle back yes. versus Cozart and Alan yeah. Feldhouse, half his team down by only seven. Obviously, Fouls, foul trouble turnovers. and turnovers really hurt him in the <laughs> second half. It really did. It was crazy. But you know what? That's expected this time of this yeah. season. They're all learning. They're all growing. Trying to figure out the plays. I mean, that's what happens. Yeah. So especially when Feldhouse, you know, I when I interviewed him during halftime, he said that's to be expected this yeah. time of year. Referees and men can probably elaborate on this. It seemed like early in the season, there's a lot more fouls called yeah. than you get later in the yeah, year. Yes, sir. And I think that's in every sport, though, even college basketball. You know, when we were looking at the Kentucky Duke game a few weeks ago, I thought it would have been more lower scoring because there right. would have been more fouls called. I Nobody expected Duke that. to just run he away with it. it you know, so. Scoring, yeah. But I feel like the officials try to maybe take more control of the games, and then when they're not 
that big of a game early in the season, they kind of let the players, or they try to be more involved in the officiating part of the of the game and not really let it get too physical early on or whatever the case may be early yeah. in the season. Whereas later in the year during the district tournament and in the regional tournament, they kind of let more things go in those bigger atmospheres and those bigger games. Is that how you see it too, Ben? Yes, sir. Yeah, so I think that's kind of how it normally plays yeah, out. Do you ever get mad when they call a foul and you're like, no, I, I know I didn't do that? Uh, no, when I foul, I, I know what I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like the honesty there. I like the it honesty. Is honest. Well, it's a good time to go ahead and crown our King Brothers used cars. Player of the week. We are live at King Brothers. That's right. And I looked over the landscape of our coverage area. Obviously, we have a, a lot of really good athletes here in the coverage area. We didn't even talk about the Estill and Southern game. We did not. So. Exactly. We'll talk about that in a moment, too. Yeah. But let's really quick crown our King Brothers used cars player of the week. Again, we are live here at King Brothers. Don't forget to like their Facebook page and take part in the cash-in with the Catch This Christmas by winning uh, a $50 Visa gift card if you correctly predict the Kentucky basketball score on December 8th, December 15th, or December 22nd. They're going to be giving a $50 gift card away each Saturday, and all you have to do is correctly predict the uh, the score of the U.K. game. You're going to do it? Our king, I'm going to try to. All right. Hopefully I'll win. He's not going to win. But uh, we're going to crown our King win. Brothers Used Cars Player of the Week. If you look at the history of high school basketball in Kentucky, there's been a lot of really good players Hard not to pick a kid that breaks an all-time record. record. State record. He was our preseason player of the year locally. And uh, Isaiah Cozart is our King Brothers Used Cars Player of the Week. Good pick. Ben will get a really good look at him tomorrow. But he, <laughs> right he put there, up 26 ben. points in the game against Southern, 23 in the game against Lafayette. Had a double-double in the Southern game, six blocks, and then set the all-time blocks record in the history of high school basketball in Kentucky on Friday night versus Lafayette, our King Brothers Used Cars Player of the Week this week is Isaiah Cozart of Madison Central. So a uh, big deal for him once again to be crowned our Player of the Week. Seems like he wins that award quite a bit, but uh, a kid going to Western well Kentucky deserved. University, and he is our King Brothers Used Cars Player of the Week. We didn't touch on Estill County, Madison no. Southern. Real quick, talk about that game. We had a couple minutes. Uh, Estill County had the lead at halftime. Southern mm -hmm. came back and won. It was kind of the opposite of the central game seven. versus Southern. It yeah. was crazy. It went back and forth. It was a great game. Yeah, a really got, fun game to, to go, watch. But you got, just got really yeah. lucky in a good game. Uh, I was came there. right down to the end. And again, officiating kind of got in the way of that game, too. So a late call against Estill County that was an intentional foul call kind of hurt the engineers' comeback hopes. Yeah. But uh, I think what about that Buchanan team, hitting he hit a big shot. The big layup. Yeah. I think this Estill County team and even Madison Southern, no, they Marbley. have so many. Marbley. Yeah, Marbley Trent Marbley. Hit the layup, yeah. And then Buchanan hit the, uh, the baskets, the, the free throws. I think both of these two teams, Estill County and Southern, they have so many young players that later in the year you'll really see these two yes. teams be a lot better basketball teams under Coach Newton and John Bentley. Two guys that played together at EKU. Yes. I look forward to seeing those two guys kind of really coach these, these young teams up. And, again, by the district tournament time, They'll both, both be, a be a lot, lot better. better. Yeah. A lot better. Because all three of our coverage areas have, have come out kind yeah. of the gate slow. They have. So it's not what we're used to, especially no. for some of them. Yeah. So, of course, it's – See how things go. It's yeah. exciting to see how they improve through the season. We have been live at King Brothers Used Cars in Winchester. Don't forget about the cash in with the catch this Christmas. Make sure to like the Facebook page of King Brothers Used Cars. Ben Jackson, man, thank you for coming on with us. Good, Good luck tomorrow me. night. Good luck thank this you. week. Two big games for GRC. Tomorrow night, the game versus Madison Central can be heard live on 92.5 WEKY as Alan Keller and myself make their way over to Winchester for that basketball game. For our producer, Randy Rosenbaum, for Samantha Burford, I'm Michael Watkins. Thanks to King Brothers Used Cars for having us. As always, served up by Buffalo Wild Wings, this has been the Walling for Sports Show. At King Brothers Used Cars in Winchester, you don't have to worry about the hassles of dealing with an aggressive salesman. They strive to make you feel comfortable and help you find the car you're looking for at the best price possible. Stop by today and get your key and drive off in a new-to-you vehicle from King Brothers Used Cars on West Lexington Avenue in Winchester. Or stop by their Facebook page for updates and their website, kingbrotherscars.com, to check out their inventory. King Brothers Used Cars, family-owned and time-tested since 1966. Escape to sports with Buffalo uh, Wild Wings. Uh, new GM, Tony okay. Barton, so welcome to the new atmosphere yeah. and new special. Get the $5 game day menu all day, every day, which includes burgers and fries, brats and fries, or oil.
order a game day pitcher of beer, all for only $5. Don't forget about the buy one, get one boneless wings deal on Tuesday and 65 cent boneless wings on Thursday. And ask your server about the Blazing Rewards program and see how you can earn free food at Buffalo Wild Wings in Richmond. Honchel's Men's Store is not just a men's clothing store. It's a first pair of boots store, an outfit to match dad's store, a place to cheer on your favorite team store, and now they're also a place to get a women's clothes store. Honchel's has it all. When the weather starts to get cold, get to Honchel's for the latest Carhartt brands to keep everyone in the family warm. Plus, Honchel's has a huge selection of hunting and work boots from Wolverine, Justin, Rocky, and more. Family owned and trusted for over 50 years, where you'll always get free gift wrapping and personalized service. Honchel's in the West Irvine Plaza. Patrick O'Neill has been serving Central and Eastern Kentucky since 1995. When someone is accused of something they didn't do, or when a good person makes a mistake, they need the best representation they can find. And that's Patrick O'Neill. Whether it's criminal defense, social security, disability, personal injury, workers' compensation, or deeds and wills, when you need legal advice, trust the expertise of Patrick O'Neill. He will get you the money you deserve. His office is located in Jackson, but Patrick practices all over Central and Eastern Kentucky. For more information or for a free consultation, call 606-66. Make sure to visit jackburford.com and be sure to like Jack Burford Chevrolet on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our Jack Burford Chevrolet YouTube channel. We load great, fresh, informational content daily about our great, new, and certified pre-owned vehicles. We also load great content about our great service specials to keep your vehicle running for many years to come. Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond. Everybody meet my new intern, Alan Cutler. Oldest intern in America. 20 applied for the job and I got it. Look, I am so excited to be doing the Madison Central Games with oh, you. Yeah. They're special. The Feldhaus family is special. It's a ton of fun. Join us on WBONTV.com and Y92.5 W-E-K-Y. Alan, how about some coffee? Uh, okay, I'm the intern. Don't forget the cream and sugar. Okay.